This is our dielectric constant setup. It consists of a main apparatus, which also has an analog micrometer attached to it. It has a sensitivity control and a radio frequency oscillator having a frequency of 4 megahertz. Next we have a test capacitor as you can see on the left hand side. The distance between the two parallel plates can be varied using the screws in the test capacitor and we also have a variable capacitor which has a capacitance varying between 10 to 270 picofarad. The dielectric materials over here are bakelite sheets having a different thickness. There are two kinds of thicknesses uh, of the bakelite sheet that is 3 mm and 1.5 mm. And we also have a PP sheet which is a polypropylene sheet of a fixed thickness. The whole setup comes with a manual which has the circuit diagram, the detailed procedure of the experiment and also the readings that should and that should be got using this experiment. This is the circuit diagram as given in the manual. There are four terminals for connecting the variable capacitor and also the test capacitor. The radio frequency of 4 MHz is inbuilt and we have a micro analog micrometer where we can see the variation of the current. And we can calculate the dielectric constant by using the formula. This is the formula for calculating the dielectric constant K. It is given by C1 minus C2 divided by C1 minus C3 where C1, C2, C3 are explained here. So we have just switched on this apparatus and as we can see here the micrometer is showing almost zero. The current sensitivity here is at the minimum position. Now we will connect the variable capacitor in these two terminals this variable capacitor we will connect. So we have connected this variable capacitor. Uh, the test capacitor over here is not connected yet. Now we will vary the variable capacitor and we will note the value at which we obtain the maximum current which is at resonance. As we see, we have to just change the sensitivity control a bit so that we get a full scale deflection. So we have just changed the sensitivity control so that we get a full scale deflection. Now we are changing the keep capacitor. You see the current is increasing and it reaches a maximum value before it starts to decrease. So this is the maximum value. After this if we increase it, it will start to decrease. So this is the maximum value and it is coming to around it comes to 180 picofarad. So this will be our C1. Now for C2, we will connect this test capacitor with a dielectric in it. So this has been already positioned to fit two 3 mm Bakelite sheet. So we'll just put it here. Two 3 mm Bakelite sheet have been put in this parallel plate capacitor as the dielectric. Now we'll be connecting this with the main apparatus. Make sure that these parallel plates are tight and if not, adjust the screw and push these two plates and then tighten the screw. Okay. Yeah. So now we will again see at which point we, at which value of capacitance we get a maximum current. That is the maximum value after which it starts to decrease the current. The value comes to 120 picofarad. This is our C2. Now to obtain C3, we will simply remove the dielectric from the parallel plates. We will not change this position at all. This will remain as it is because uh, C3 is our capacitance without the dielectric, the capacitance in air. So now we will change the variable capacitor. So we are getting the maximum current over here. 
and it is correspond to 155 picofarad so we have obtained our c1 c2 and c3 now we'll simply put it in the formula of k and find out the dielectric constant so on calculation it, the dielectric constant comes out to be around 2.4 so this is the observation table given in the manual. These readings are just for uh, reference purpose. The values will definitely change. Now we can do the same experiment using the PP sheet in the same way as we have done with the Bakelite sheet. So this concludes our experiment for finding the dielectric constant of a solid. Thank you.